Hello sunshines and welcome back to my channel. So today we have an exciting video. So basically my mum is here. Let me just put you guys down here a second. So my mum is down from back home and it's actually my 30th birthday in a few days. So she was like, do you want me to like bake you a cake or buy you a birthday cake? I said, no, do you know what I want? I said, I just want some scones. I love me some scones with some cream and jam. So anyway, that's what we're about to bake. And I thought, do you know what? Let me just film it. Let me film it for you guys. And kind of make it a new series, because as you know, I share a lot of foodie videos on my channel. And I'm trying to think of a new series name for cooking. Oh, that's mama just coming in now. Um, it is boiling outside, guys. Like, so hot. It is excruciating. I have the aircon on full blast. How was it? Boiling hot. Boiling, I know. Before mum was like, you know, when she's back home in the UK and it's all cold, like, oh, I can't wait for the sun, I'll be fine. I was like, no, the sun is intense. She's like, no, I'll be fine. I was like, okay. And now you're like, it's too much, it's too much. But yeah, anyway, um, scones, it's a little bit of home. Um, it's like, it's a proper British delicacy, isn't it, scones? And you have to have it with tea. So mum bought me um, a really nice little teapot set for my birthday as well. So that's what we're gonna have with our scones. Uh, the only thing I couldn't find was clotted cream. Um, and I left it too late to make, so I can make it, but it takes, it's like an overnight process. So instead, I'm gonna try and make something, <laughs> some thicker cream, we'll see how it goes. Um, and with my scones, I don't drink dairy milk, so I'm gonna use almond milk as well, which you guys may notice in the ingredients, um, but feel free to use cow's milk if that is what you like. So yeah, are you ready, mama? Are you ready? She is shy. You might remember my mum from a previous vlog. <laughs> and she is a shy one, so everyone give her a, a warm welcome and let her know we don't bite. <laughs> We don't bite over here, we're nice. All right, we are gonna prep for the ingredients. I will see you in a sec. Oh, flour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, with these recipes, I, I basically kind of know scones, you know what goes in it. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of changing some things around. But yeah, flour, we've got flour. So we're pre-measuring everything. <laughs> and we're finding that mum doesn't do things in the American measurements. Um, so yeah, we're trying to change that and we couldn't find um, self-raisin flour. I don't know if that exists here in the US, does it? I couldn't find it anywhere. So anyway, we're trying to try and make our all-purpose flour into self-raisin flour with baking powder. Two? Yeah, I think, mm -hmm. I think maybe two and a little bit and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, to be honest, with recipes, I usually just wing it. We've actually been doing so much cooking because I love to cook. Well, I say we've been doing cooking. I've been doing the eating. You've been doing the eating. <laughs> and I've been doing the cooking. <laughs> I think it's so much nicer making things at home. I feel like they're made with a little bit of love and you can tell when you make something homemade, especially baking. But I don't bake enough. This is cane sugar, but caster sugar is much better. But again, I'm working with what ingredients I can find out here, which I'm starting to learn isn't a lot <laughs> compared to how we bake back home. I'm just going to do this so that it's a bit easier. 175 milliliters, which I think is just kind of under a cup of almond milk. We need one egg. So mama's grease in the tray. We have almond milk, flour, butter, one egg, bacon powder, caster sugar. Something's missing. Uh, vanilla extract and lemon. Okay, so I'm going to preheat the oven. I always forget to do this for some reason. I love having everything out, look how easy this is. Now I'm gonna add flour, I'm gonna add the baking powder. I think I'll just get some. Oh, 
salt. The salt, a uh, quarter teaspoon, which, what, like a little dash, isn't it really? A quarter teaspoon's about, about that? Yeah, there we are. I'm gonna do this nice and easy dry part, and I'm gonna let mama crumble the butter in. <laughs> the butter, do the flour. I'm going to soften it a little bit. Oh yeah, it's been in the fridge, it's hasn't it? Actually, it's softened quite well. Yeah. yeah. So basically what you want is it to, in the end, look like breadcrumbs almost, mm -hmm. which looks like we're very far away from that. <laughs> <laughs> try now. Really, you just have to use your fingertips. Oh, it shouldn't take too long. I do remember doing this. <laughs> Quite a lot when you were younger. So while Mama is still working on this bad boy, <laughs> I am going to heat up the milk uh, just for 30 seconds. Okay, so you don't want the milk piping hot. Just a little hot. And I'm gonna add one teaspoon vanilla extract. And a squeeze of one wedge of lemon. Okay, so now mama's done the easy part. <laughs> I'm gonna pour in the caster sugar. Sorry, it's not even caster, this is cane sugar, but caster preferably. I'm just gonna stir it in. That was a lot of sugar, guys. This is not a, um, a healthy <laughs> recipe, just FYI. Like, I wish more than anything there was like a really nice, I don't know, like someone that done, does afternoon tea. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I should open up a little calf. <laughs> we'll have some nice Earl Grey. Mama, I'll yeah. serve the tea. You'll serve the tea <laughs> and we'll bake scones. You can bake the scones. Yeah. Make a well. Um, I'm gonna add all the liquids. And this may seem odd, but I'm actually using a knife to stir it with. I don't know why, I read this tip somewhere. Oh, my arm's aching already. Do you want me to take this is a workout, out? isn't it? I'll pull the pregnancy card. <laughs> there we are. I, I told you, it's quite stiff. It looks right though. Okay, you wanna make sure your surface is clean for this part. There we are. That should be enough, shouldn't it? More? Ooh, the dough seems quite sticky actually. Doesn't it? need a bit more flour. So see how we go. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna scatter some flour. I'm gonna cover my hands in some flour. All right. Cool, yeah, it's quite wet, it's okay. That's where it's just using the flour. All right. Oh no, but it feels fine. There we are. Yeah. We're gonna flatten it to about Four centimetres, I'd say. What is four centimetres? Is it about that? Uh, that's about four, is that about four centimetres? What's that? That's 30 centimetres. Oh, you're trying to measure it out. I was like, that is a ruler. So mum was trying to explain why when I asked what was how much four centimetres is, she was going like this. Because I always think of a ruler size and then I divide it up into tens <laughs> and then fives in my head. You usually. actually do that? Yeah, that's what I do. Right, so when you say four, I was working that out. Because you were like four, four centimetres. And I was like, gosh, you might have put some whiskey in there, a cup of tea. <laughs> this is when you improvise. <laughs> Hence, we are using this. So you can kind of have whatever shape you like. Mum said I should actually use something um, smaller, but I like mine a little wide. So I've realised guys, since moving into this house, um, I'm missing a lot of baking essentials. Ooh. And I haven't got a brush. 
So we're gonna beat this egg and we're just gonna, we're gonna spoon it on. Oh, it's okay, I'll ask Alexa. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, how many of your guys' Alexas did I just set off by saying that? I hate, oh, you're right. I hate when I'm like watching a YouTube video and they say Alexa and my Alexa starts going crazy. Anyway, all right, Mama. So, tidy up and should we put this new teapot to use? Oh. And make a cup of tea. You can't have scones about a cup of tea. So just when I thought I could sit down, I remembered I still have to make the cream. So what I'm gonna do to, I don't know, I didn't just wanna use heavy whipping cream, I wanted something a bit more zhuzh. So I'm gonna use heavy uh, whipping cream. Oh, Alexa, stop. So I'm gonna use heavy whipping cream, uh, mascarpone, and a little bit of powdered sugar. It's not gonna quite be clotted cream, but it should have a really nice texture and taste to it. Arms open. Come I'll in. have a little go while you get her. Oh, that looks good. Ah, there we are, there we are. An hour later. So the scones are looking delightful. Look at that. Hey guys, done. Okay, this looks so good. But I'm gonna do a taste test and we get a little bit from the spoon. I'm not actually a big fan of cream, but mm, I love cream. you have to have it in scones. Mm-mm-mm. That is good. Oh That's my goodness. Lovely. It tastes so fresh. Mm -hmm. That with our, we've got some strawberry jam and we've got some fresh strawberries. Can't wait. Cody's just woke from his nap. Nice of you to join us, just as the scones are ready, huh? Hmm, I see your tactics. <laughs> All right. What's the verdict, Mama? I heard a couple mmm, so I had to come <laughs> grab the camera. <laughs> really nice. It's good. It looks so mm. good. Oh my gosh. Like, let me show you guys it's the really inside. Good. Ooh, all right. I'm about to try this. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's a good scum. Like a really good scum. I didn't get a chance to like proper update you guys, but we're now in month eight, uh, which is super, super exciting. So I'm just doing loads of things that make me feel good, um, have me at peace, and just things that bring me joy. So if you take anything from today's video, it is not our recipe, although it was good, so. <laughs> 
do make them, please. But um, just take away doing things that makes your heart happy, really. So yeah, I am gonna leave it there. Mama Brown, thank you for your cooperation <laughs> and for filming with me. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah.